Hi, my name's Chris Smith and I'm the Executive Director of the Utopian Sea Project. Welcome to Franny's Farm and my small strip of it, which we call the Experimental Farm. This is where we do a majority of our growing, although we do work with a network of farmers and also a lot of my board members are also actively participating in our trials. Just very quickly, we have like three focus areas that I want to tell you about. We have exploring and preserving varietal diversity in traditional southern crops. So that's things like the hundreds of okra varieties that we've grown, hundreds of sweet potatoes and collards and southern peas and lots of exciting traditional southern crops. We also have this whole area where we're trying to grow tropical perennials as temperate annuals. So that's things like taro and yacon and these wonderful often root crops that will grow as perennials in tropical regions. But here we're trying to grow them as temperate annuals and then carry over some form of plant genetics, usually some a rhizoma or tuba or something like that to grow again the next spring. So that's a pretty awesome and exciting area because one, it's increasing food diversity and food security in this region. And two, we have this little thing called climate change, which is forcing the whole climate to warm up. And so we're kind of hedging our bets that we're going to need to be growing slightly different crops in the future. And we're preparing for that. And then the third focus area are kind of underutilized, sometimes wild edibles, things like the American groundnut. We've got 43 different cultivars of improved American groundnut in the ground right now, actually. And, you know, pawpaws and Chinese artichoke and skirrets and some of these other fun, often perennial crops that be can be grown in this region uh, as true perennials. And so that's three different areas that is really going to help uh, elevate and diversify our food supply and hopefully make it way more fun to grow and eat in this region. We don't need to be relying on a, a few minority, or, well, majority crops that are grown uh, in monoculture type systems. We can really grow a whole bunch of different interesting things. We're very lucky to be in this region where there's such uh, diversity on offer. So that's a little bit about the Utopian Sea Project. Uh, we are actively promoting ourselves on Patreon because we really want this project to be kind of like a community-led initiative. So we want uh, your thoughts and your ideas, but also your financial support. And Patreon allows you just to donate as little as $5 a month, which makes a huge difference to us and the work we do uh, and allows us to focus on that work instead of having to chase the money all the time. So if you've got the, the funds to help us out a little bit, then we'd be really, really appreciative and it will really help what we can do. There's some um, uh, really good access to some of our, our plant material through our Patreon levels. So check it out. And if you're able to, please support us. And we hope to be in touch in the very near future. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.